Hi, this is Van with TrueBlue Power. Today while we talk about our family of USB charging ports, we're going to be talking about connector type. So when you think of USB, you probably think of something like this, a charging port that looks like this and a cord that looks like this. But rather than just USB, this is actually a specific type of USB called USB type A. If you look in these ports, you can see that there's four pins, metal pins that transfer data or transfer power to a device. So, as you can see with our USB charging ports, our MD93 and our TA102 are exclusively USB type A, but it's important to note that on some of our units you see a blue tongue. The blue tongue is USB type A 3.0. So when I spoke about four pins in your standard USB type A, the blue tongue USB type A 3.0 has nine pins that can transmit data and power. So that's, that allows us to do a little bit more power through our TA202s and our TA360s. But the main USB charging port connector that I'm excited about telling you about is USB type C. So a USB type C connector looks something like this. We've been talking about pins already, four pins here, nine pins with USB type A 3.0. With our USB Type-C connector, there's 24 pins that can transfer power or data to your device. So that's a really big jump in power from what we think of as USB today, our standard USB Type-A. My favorite part about this connector is it's reversible. So you don't have to worry about plugging it in upside down the first time and replugging it another time. You can go both ways with the reversible connector. Through using the USB Type-C, you'll see a lot of new devices, Apple devices, Android devices, laptop computers, tablets, all sorts of things are starting to put these connectors directly in their devices so you can be ready to go with a brand new USB Type-C cord. That allows it to send more data and more power to your devices and makes it the newest and the most important USB connector on the market today.